Good afternoon, welcome to another video. As you probably see behind me, I'm down a lake. This is Coppice Lake, Coppice Pool, on the Birmingham Anglers Association ticket. I'm down here to do a little bit of float fishing today. I'm just gonna do a bit of float fishing by this tree you see behind me here. It's quite busy today, it's quite a mild day, as you can probably see from my clothing. Um, it's quite busy, there's probably 10 or 12 anglers on. All fairly well spread out. There's a lot of carp cruising around, so the guy next to me, the guy over there, they're gonna be targeting carp off the top, so we might see a bit of that, but uh, I'm not here to do that today. I'm do, just gonna do a little bit of float fishing. Uh, I'll run you through the gear shortly, but very simple today. I've just got a little bit of ground bait and some maggots and some worms, and that's your lot. Right, I think without further ado, we get cracking. We've only got perhaps four hours before I need to be gone, so nicked. Nicked just a few hours this afternoon. I don't have to do a school run this afternoon, so I've just nicked a few hours out um, to come and have a go here. So uh, yeah, I'll stop waffling, we'll get on with it. So not the easiest place to film, but uh, I'll do my best. I'm just sat out on this stage in here. I'm gonna fish down, as I say, to that tree over there. I fished here last season, I think once or twice. Um, it's quite a good peg, so I thought I'd come back for the first visit of the year. What I've got with me, I've got my Dower Matchman actual pellet whack rod but it's rated three to eight pounds line so it'll be perfect for this sort of thing i've got a uh, dial 125m close face reel on there and a i think it's a canal dart they're called nice sensitive float on here for bb and that's it it's gonna be as simple as that now i've also bought with me another rod which we might drop in in a minute i've got uh, one of my old john wilson rovex um, this is a Avon Quiver, it's a pound and a quarter test curve rod. What I was thinking about doing with this was dropping this in the edge, perhaps some perch, I've got a perch bobber on there. What I'll do is I'll stick all the information, all this gear in the description below so you can go and have a look at it. And I think we'll, we'll perhaps pop, drop this in the edge or we'll just see exactly what happens, but I'm not gonna do too much of that at the moment, but we might drop it in. I bought it as just a bit of a worm rod, really. Right, simple as that. As I say, I've got some very old maggots, as you can see, which I've had to dry out with a bit of breadcrumbs. Dry breadcrumbs. Might struggle a bit throwing this out. What I've got ground bait wise is just some of this stuff. Match original, frenzy temp. I'm not going to put too much, I'm going to sort of rely on loose feeding, really, I think. Hopefully, it doesn't rain. It's looking a bit rainy. They did say we might have a shower. But uh, right, I'm gonna finish getting this float shotted up and I'll have a crack. There we are. First chuck. What we got? Nice little roach. <laughs> That's a good start. Just gone for a few bites today, really. A few bites, a few fish. I think roach, probably skimmers, perch, sort of things we're gonna catch. A lot of the anglers on here are, I found out last year, last year was the first time I fished it. A lot of the anglers on here are carp fishermen. I think probably four guys fishing sort of match tactic seat boxes and everyone else is carp fishing I would say. Well, it's got about 10 minutes before we've got another bite. But finally we've got another bite. It's probably not great chucking this fish back <laughs> straight back in, but I wasn't gonna bring a keep net today. Perhaps I should have, they can keep spooking all their mates. <laughs> oh dear, here comes the rain. I guess he left the coat in the car. Not good. Could do with a bit of rain though. The Avon's uh, not quite in the fields at the moment. Oh, for goodness sake. Yeah, as I say, a bit weird. And that's me putting that first one back, it's just spooked them all. Plus, should have got me keeping that out. A 
fish. Feels a bit better, I was going to say. But it's a skimmer. <laughs> it's a skimmer. Yay. Well, we're starting to build things a bit. It's, uh, it's not exactly going crazy, but... <laughs> Little skimmer. Go on, back you go. This is very enjoyable. Well, I've just nipped back to the car to grab a few bits that I forgot. Can't really throw this bait out very far because this wind, which is almost a facer, as you can, I'm sure you can see from the ripples. I've got my catapult, got my cap, because the sun keeps coming out. I've got some more hook links, because I think I'm fishing a bit heavy here. I think I've got about a size 14 on here. I'm gonna go down to an 18 red maggot. I was just chatting to one of the regulars actually, he was saying that um, it's not really fishing very well at the moment. Because of the colour they think. But it was always a sort of, it was quite clayed up the water. It's the best way to describe it I think. It was sort of greyish clay sort of colour. Like I say this year, it's, uh, it's very, very algified. That's even a word. It's really like there's been an algae bloom. Doesn't look great at all. Absolutely cracking. I was just chatting to a, a chap up there as well who's uh, using a swing tip. I haven't seen a swing tip for years. <laughs> Fantastic. Swing tip and a closed face reel. Wonderful. <laughs> right, let's see if that helps. All right, oh, oh, that's gone. There we go. Well, looks like scaling down has done the trick straight away. Cracking. What we got here? Oh, that's a nice roach, isn't it? Complain about that. Cracking. Well, like scaling stands and trick and it's a it's a good practice this as well with this kit for uh when we get on the canals after a few roach and hybrids skimmers etc refine the tackle when we're, we're more likely to get a few bites than when we get down the canal all right there we go listen to a message from my mate <laughs> he's been chatted to another little roach well, we're getting a few now. We've got a few fish. A bit of a tangle by the looks of it. Well, we're getting some bites now. It's starting to pick up a bit. It's turned into a very nice day. I've not really put the, the perch bobber float out because, uh, <laughs> because the weather really not particularly perch conditions, is it? <laughs> Bright sunshine. If we do catch a perch or two, perhaps I'll put one out. I mean, obviously, if we have something grabbed on the way in, perhaps by a perch, then then I will. But uh, yeah, I'm not in a massive rush to get that rod out, to be honest. It might be an idea, perhaps, to put it down by this tree. Just the weather's put me off at the moment. It was supposed to be quite overcast today, but the sun keeps poking its head out, as you can see. Right, I think I'm going to deploy the uh, old perch rod. Just sat there doing nothing. We might as well get it out, anyway. Silver's fishing is not exactly going crazy. Not massively surprising, I guess, with this big sun out. Right, the, uh, the sleeper perch rod is deployed just down here. I thought right by the tree is probably the, the best place to get it out. 
Plus it's in my eye line as well, I'll keep an eye on it. Hopefully. A nice perch will grab hold of it. We're not any perch yet though, but uh, like I say, it's not really perch weather, is it? As long as a carp doesn't grab hold of it, because we will be in trouble if it does. There we go. Well, just changed over to bronze maggot and had a bite straight away. After sort of struggling a bit on reds. Well, despite this being a pellet waggler rod, it's doing a good job. It's got a nice soft tip, which is good. That's why I thought it'd be, uh, it'd be good for this sort of job. I've been using it for waggler fishing on the river. That's why I got it for catching decent chub next to snags. <laughs> like I say, we will be getting down the canal using it, being that it's 13 foot. Our, uh, our worm's gone. Ooh, now what was that? Something's had hold of that. Well, that's promising, isn't it? Didn't strike into anything. Something's definitely had hold of that. now aren't we? It's cracking, exactly what we came for. Getting a few bites. Not catching anything monstrous but that was never on the cards to be honest. Not unless we catch a monster perch on that rod. Oh yeah, it's off again. Oh, we're into something. <laughs> Doesn't feel monstrous but it's probably a perch, I would think. Oh, it is a nice stripey. Cool, that's a nice fish, isn't it? Sell for that. Oh, that's a nice stripey. Fantastic. Well, that's about that. No monster. I'll sell for that. That's cracking. Wonderful. Back you go. That's cracking. Chop one about twice that size now. <laughs> well, that worked well. I say that, that perch was clearly a female, full of spawn. She was uh, full of casters, maggots, and, <laughs> and my big worm as well. Right, we'll try that again. Big old lob worm. We want a big perch, we'll go with a big worm. There we go, that's more like it. Well, I swims uh, snowballing definitely. Blimey, if we had some half decent bait, <laughs> we might do all right. <laughs> God, these maggots are ages old. I was going to go and get some yesterday, but the local tackle shop's not open on Mondays. Well, it's not going crazy here today, I have to say. I seem to remember, perhaps I'm remembering with rose tinted glasses, I'm not sure, but I seem to remember last year was a bite of chuck. It's uh, certainly not today. I'm going sort of five minutes or so without a bite. And we're going to sort of two or three bites quite quickly and then I'm to wait five or five minutes or so again. Mostly roach as well. I say we had we had one skimmer, didn't we? But that's been it. It's been all roach aside from that.
Hooray. Reg, 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 reg. <laughs> Certainly not complaining. Water is 13 degrees, so it's, it's, it's quite a nice temperature. It's not hot, it's not cold. Certainly a good temperature for this time of the year. But we're now mid-March-ish. Well, they're getting smaller and smaller. <laughs> you put this one on, try and catch a perch. <laughs> They're all quite much of a muchness, unfortunately. Thought we might get through to a few bigger ones, but uh, it's not happening. Yeah, this feels a bit bigger. Hopefully it's a roach. No, skimmer. <laughs> oh, I thought it was a nice roach then. It's only the second skimmer we've had. I really thought that was, was going to be a nice roach. Never mind. <laughs> Just all real much of a muchness. <laughs> Zander bait size. I'm not taking any for Zander bait. <laughs> I'm just saying that's the sort of size they are. Well, that was grabbed right near the surface, that was. Could probably fish on the drop, <laughs> to be honest. Come on, be a nice roach. Yeah, nice roach. Let me swing him. Just about. Oh, that's better. That's a bit more like what we came for. <laughs> Fab. A bit more like it anyway. Go on, back again. Well, that's a better fish. Oh, it's going to move just for an hour. I'm going to give it another hour, I think. Um, I was going to have a move, like I say, but uh, yeah, not sure really, no. Slightly better roach. Oh. <laughs> I think I need to feed a bit more, to be honest. When I feed, I seem to get a flurry of bites. I think perhaps I'm being a bit stingy with the, with the feed. going a bit easy with it just purely because you know we're still in March don't want to fill the place in and you know feed them off well I don't know it uh, seems that perhaps I could have fed a bit more heavily a bit more baiting and see if get a bit more of a response There you go, look, feed and then get a bite. This is a roach, it's a better one. It is. Oh, we're having a few nicer fish now. No monsters, but certainly a better stamp. We'll keep at it. We'll feed a bit more. Seems to be the way. Try double red. Nothing on the old perchy rod. Keeping the, the maggots going over the top of that as well. Ooh. 
Well, the size is getting bigger. No monsters at all. But definitely getting a bit bigger. And a cracking time, I have to say. Right, it's gone very, very quiet here. So I'm going to have the move I've been thinking about. I'm just slide down the bank a little way to fish a, a bush that's similar to this sticking in the water. I'll go down there just for the last sort of half an hour, 40 minutes, I think. Because it's, as I say, it's just gone very, very quiet here. Right, we'll give it half an hour here, I reckon. See how we get on. If we catch him, we'll stay a bit longer. If we're not, we'll get off, I think. Kind of very enjoyable few hours. About three hours now, down here. About half four, could give it another hour if we fancy it. But like I say, we'll just see how it goes. It's, that last spot just went completely, completely dead. See how this one fares. We've moved the uh, perch float really that's what I'm thinking of more than the, <laughs> the sort of float I'm working just thinking really that we'll perhaps get a perch it's definitely shallower finally a bite <laughs> it's, took, it's took a while <laughs> What a nice roach. <laughs> Fab. Yeah, it's not exactly prolific here. It's, it seems quite a bit shallower, even though we've only moved 15 metres probably. It's, uh, it's very quiet here as well. I think I just sat there thinking, oh, I'm going to go home. And then the float went under. I think we'll just, we'll just have five more minutes. I think we'll call it a day. It's been nice to get reacquainted with the place. So I fished here a few times in the last closed season. I've not done anything aside from that. It's a nice little pool. Bit, bit busy for my liking to be if I'm honest but you know it's going to be isn't it. Can't expect anything else really. It's certainly nice there's certainly plenty of bites to be had. Uh, it's a really enjoyable three, three and a half hours down here. Caught plenty of fish. A nice bonus perch as well. I think we'll just give it five more minutes and then we'll call it a day. I got it. Oh, perhaps we'll give it a little bit longer. Oh, it's a <laughs> smaller one. Looks like it's took perhaps 10 or 15 minutes to get them on the maggots I put in there and that bit of ground bait. Perhaps, perhaps we'll give it a bit longer. Seem to be on it now. <laughs> well, it's a bite of chuck now. All much of a muchness, but it's a bite of chuck. I wonder if there's any bigger roach in here. Like, you know, pound pluses. Sure, it must be. There's this many small ones. Some of them must mature, I'm sure. God, we got them going in now. We really have. Marginally better. More like what we came for. Cracking. Sure, I'm not doing myself any favours putting these fish straight back. <laughs> but uh, 
Oh, so I didn't want to bring a kidna out today. Now I was gonna only give it half an hour in here, and we've had about half an hour now in here. We're getting a few bites, so we'll give it a bit longer. I'm not going to stay too much longer though. It's about five o'clock now. We've been at it what, three and a half hours now. And as soon as it as soon as it goes quiet again, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it. Very enjoyable. Very very enjoyable to come out and get some bites. I know this rig's working nicely. As I say, really, it's a bit of a, a bit of a tester session for when I take it down the canal because. I'm going to be experimenting down the canal because bites can be very few and far between down there. Ah, <laughs> oh, have I missed that? Well, it's, apart from the noise of the road in the distance, it's just lovely being here. It's quite quiet. There's lots of carpers around, as, as I mentioned, but the alarms are not being abused. So it's nice to see a woodpecker. All the birds chirping away. I say we've got a rumble of the road in the distance, but aside from that, it's lovely. No one's shouting or running around or anything. It's just nice. It shows how much warmer it is this year as well because of how much busier it is here. I remember last year coming just a little bit into the closed season like this and there was no one here. It was cold, unpleasant. Ooh, we've got the best fish in the world. We've caught the best fish in the world. I forgot these were in here. Check him out. <laughs> Mr. Gudgeon. Come on, show yourself off. There we go. <laughs> Mr. Gudgeon, the best fish in the world. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, well, that's made my day, to be honest. <laughs> I'm very serious as well. That's absolutely made my day. I'm going to go home with a big smile on my face now. Mr. Gudgeon. Completely forgot they were Gudgeon in here. <laughs> well, the little ones are in again now. I think with that, I'm going to call it a day. Caught stacks of these fellas. Some smaller, a few a bit bigger. That's been absolutely cracking. Really, really enjoyed that. But let's say we've done about three and a half hours at it, just over. No, but I'm going to call that a day. That's been, that's been cracking. Really, really enjoyed that. So it's nice to do something a bit different. And uh, we've caught some skimmers, some roach. We even had that bonus perch and we've caught the best fish in the world at the end there as well. Absolutely fantastic. Now, I'm planning on getting that again within the next few days. The weather looks reasonable like this, overcast, but uh, fairly mild. So I think perhaps we'll, we'll have a session down the canal. Perhaps after some Zander, we'll perhaps we we'll take this gear and uh, do a bit of float fishing. I'm not sure exactly what we'll do yet, but uh, that's for next time. For now, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Tight lines, enjoy your own angling. Many thanks to the channel patrons for your wonderful support and I'll see you again very soon.